I feel like I want my legacy to be someone who always remain the same but leveled up. I do want to become a legend, a, a great, somebody who broke boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Somebody who just rose above everything. I ain't trying to die young, so I gotta ride with one. Still 10 toes down in my Balenciaga. He ran out on a nigga that's a shot, a shot, a cold hearted nigga with the blocker, blocker. Gotta keep it on me, I wanna die young. I'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by 6. I'm gonna post bail, just look at my wrist. Tell me why the legends always gotta die quick. What's good, it's Roddy Rich, and you watching a brand new episode of Welcome to My Neighborhood on Civil TV. I just caught the Mary Jane chain clank, but now she thinks she hearing things. I just counted up 100 bands with all my dogs at the Airbnb. The, my favorite part about Compton is uh, the love, the love I get. Like every time I touch the city or like the feeling I feel. Like now I be on tour and stuff like that, so I don't really get to feel it all the time, but like just the love, just seeing my homies and just reminiscing and shit about like old shit is just like the best part of being back over here. As far as like just respect, like it, you gotta give it to get it here, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people feel like, you know, we just ordain somebody to be a big homie or or somebody just who been older is just considered a big homie. But um, just growing up here, knowing like the people who came up before me is just, they always give that respect and get that respect, you know what I'm saying? So it's like maintaining that. The black mat is, is um, it's like where, you know, you, you, you earn your stripes, I guess you could say. I don't wanna go too in deep. Like, it's just like, you know, you solidify your position over here. You know, you come over here, niggas may test you, niggas may, you know what I'm saying? But this is where you solidify your position, being from like the New Wilmington Arms, you know. Uh, basically, all the homies come over here Young, old, whenever they feel like you need to, you know, they testing you or you come to the black man, you call them to the black man and y'all hash it out, whatever that situation is. Or when you are, you know, solidifying your position in the arms, they'll pull you to the black mat and you gotta show what, you know what I'm saying? You stand up for yourself and do what you gotta do to, to be from the, you know what I'm saying, from the arms and stuff like that. So this is, this is basically like our little dojo. I just been ballin' out every season Know it's some niggas I left in the beach I just been married to Double Cup I gotta pull me a four inside another leader Tie up the bands and then run it up I gotta put the new bells inside of the freezer Back at the... My cousin, how? I shot every season in this house too with his mama She was in the video Praying on the table I don't even know if he home That was really the kick at house on you got cameras and stuff, and I'm with him. Yeah, I'm right here. Look, I just be popping shit like hot grease. I'm in my day sitting at the trap, about to call the plug, got a cop three. This is the arms, New Wilmington Arms, located on the west side of Compton. And now we about to go to the farm, right across the street. Slot. Mm. Hey, big stepper like big meat. Mm -hmm. I was taught to go and get it straight about the mud, little nigga. We in the farms now. This right across the street from my hood. Like a lot of horses be flowing through here. I spend a lot of time over here growing up. Yeah, my family live right here and shit. Back here is where the Compton Cowboys is. Um, you know, they keep their horses back here and shit. I shot the Big Stepper video back here too. Um, what's good with you, OG? I shot, I shot the Big Stepper video back here. And it's my aunt, it's my aunt Randy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we just, I'm just giving them a toy and shit. Yeah, that's no what I'm coming I from. I like that. That's what Cash got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah. Little shit. But this, he started me on the recording shit. Just had me in the back and shit. Just, right here, too. Yeah. Right in his mouth. In the back house. He was booming, though. Oh, eight <laughs> he was cranking out them jams. Oh, eight and we did that first video over here, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, like, just all my little start off shit. Like, at the end of high school, a nigga just trying to figure it out. Just doing that shit. I don't know. I ain't. We ain't really know what we was doing. We just, just trying to just do that shit. Yeah, just, just fucking with it. But I want to. I want to make it my responsibility to open people's eyes to like different things. Just uh, that's over here. You know, just so they don't look at it like uh, you know, a crime spot or like a place that's just bad. You know. I mean, Compton. Don't get me wrong. It's it's a, it's it's a, it's still getting cleaned up. It's a lot of stuff that 
You know what I'm saying? That we trying to trying to do to help help the kids become greater than we were. But at the same time, you know, I just I don't know. I want to open the world's eyes to just different stuff when it comes to content. So when they hear content like it's not just police and, and gangs. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more than that. It's just a lot of different sections in Compton. You know, you got the farms right here. Then across the street from my hood is the airport. And then you got the projects. You got different sets of hoods and shit. So it's just, I don't know. It's just a lot of different shit people don't know about Compton. Remember I was in the project wall. Couldn't even get along. Now the niggas got their hands out. If I ain't give it, I be wrong. We about to go to the, uh, the, the Westfield Mall by Westchester where I almost graduated, where I went to school and shit. Cause my mom, she wanted me to, to go to school in a better place. So we about to go over there. I was more like, I like a lot of sneakers. I like shoes and stuff. Uh, back then on Jordans, I ain't do designers yet. I did all Jordans. It's a store at Man's Land in here. It's a cool little store. I used to come in this store a lot. Some of this shit used to be expensive for me, but now it's cool. <laughs> One of the stories was um, we had came in here and and um, I had first first got like my check like you know just first first getting money and um, and we came in here my brother was with me Winter was with me just sweatsuits shoes anything you feel me I was just buying all type of shit probably spent like twenty thousand I don't know but it was some cool shit anything you could think of they got it in here Ethica MCM Versace, nothing fake. That was the good thing about in here. It was like it wasn't nothing fake. Um, they got stuff for girls, Uggs, all type of stuff, just anything. Down below, down below, oh, oh, oh. Ready, ready. Oh, um, on Halloween, we would come over here and just like, just do whatever. Like the whole, like it'll be a group of kids, like probably like, like thousand, I don't know how many kids just, we just run through like all of, this area, you know what I'm saying? Just, it's like some LA shit, like, just fucking with niggas from LA, like, nigga just run through the whole neighborhood and shit like that, but, it, you know, coming out to school, eating food, fucking with people who worked here and shit like that, we'll do that. How you feeling, you good? Yeah. So. I I went to school in Westchester, so that's like around the corner, but this is far away from like the other side of town. But I used to come over here just cause my mom, she didn't want me like going to school over there and shit. So she sent me over here and that's how I got introduced to this side of the town. You know what I'm saying? Like, so people kind of knew me from both sides, like from Compton and then over here, that's how I kind of got a, a more of a name than a lot of other people. Cause I was known by a lot of different sides of LA, you know, rather than just, one particular section. I've been done right through another nigga city. I got a brand new Draco with me. Clip got that 83 Scotty Pepper, bitch. Nigga ain't heard We about to go to Westchester High, where I spent time going to school. So my mom sent me to school. Uh, just to be on the, uh, uh, you know, on the up and up. Cool little school. Uh, I think Nia Long, Tyler Creator. A couple people went there. So there's a bus called the 115. It take you all the way from shit, like the east side of LA or the, like just south central LA period. Like it take you all the way from over there, all the way down to the beach. So everybody used to hop on that bus to come to Westchester even. So like Westchester was like a mixed board of everybody. Like just, it was people that lived over here. It was. People that lived in LA, a lot of kids from LA would come to Westchester just because it was like a popular school to go to. So like you, your mom would get like somebody who lived over here address or some kind of way you would get sent to this school. This Westchester, where I spent my last bit of time at school. I was, I mean, in 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 middle school and elementary school, I was a great student. I actually had good grades and shit like that. Until I got about like seventh, eighth grade, then, then my grades started getting bad. My grades started getting bad. High school, I, ne I never had good grades in high school. But it wasn't even because I wasn't smart. You know, it was just because I literally, I don't know. I kind of just did what I wanted to do at that point. I, I actually would go to class 
and, and just and listen to like all the shit I record at the house, I wouldn't even like pay attention to class for real. Like, I never put myself out there to be like a social butterfly, but people just knew my name. Like people knew, like my name just run bells for some reason. Like I don't know. Like people just knew who I was. First of all, I was only nigga with my, my color eyes, so it was like kind of stood out. People just knew who I was. I don't know. I used to hop that back gate back there. So it was a, it was a way it was a way to get out of school. Um, how do I put it like? So this gate right here, if you if you go through this whole school right here, you come through, you hop through this gate right here, and then you go out this gate right here. So then you just slide on out. But that like I knew how to do that shit. So it was, you feel me? I just come out, ask go to the bathroom, slide right on out, boom. Then I go like in and out of some shit. I don't know. Now we go into the field where one I shot down below, two, I used to I used to hop over a gate back there too. <laughs> to slide out and um yeah i'm gonna just show y'all a little bit of the the other side of the campus remember i was in the project wall couldn't even get along but this is where i kind of got my name roddy rich kind of uh just being around always trying to get some money always trying to figure it out you know people start calling me that i'll come to the games i might miss the last couple of classes but i'll come to the games because you know We'll go, we'll, that's what we do. Lead class, go to the mall, come to the game at the end. So, on Fridays, a um, couple basketball games. I only go to the important ones. But the football games was like cracking. It's all the different schools that come. You know, and then, and then the Westchester Fairfax game is like important game, you know? Like that's like a super important game. So we always pull up to them. Came from the bottom, down below. Every situation you in, every every setting you get put in, just always trust your process because you never know where you're gonna end up. A nigga got so much money on me, I can't count no more. Down below, down below, down below. Young nigga out there, dope as a motherfucker, fucking over the scene, nobody fucking with him. We doing this out to shit just like that. Oh, man.